What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another park playthrough on uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. This time I'm in Diamond Heights. I'll be honest, this is probably one of my favorite scenarios from the first game. Um, I think it was probably just one of the first ones that was unlocked before you start the game. I think there was like five or six when you started the game that were unlocked initially, and this was one of them, and this was the most interesting. It had a bunch of coasters in it, and it had... It was just like a... It's like a pretty looking scenario, so... I'm excited to start this one. Uh, the only problem is, with this scenario, there's a lot. Um, it's not designed the best in terms of, like, efficiency. Like, it looks kind of cool, but there's just a lot of issues where... There's no food or drink stalls, there's no bathrooms, there's no... Um, like, there's not really much staff to speak of, but the park is really big. So you kind of have to do a lot of maintenance before you even start really doing any ride building or anything like that. So a lot of this episode was just kind of hiring some staff, organizing my staff, um, building some food and drink stalls. I had to do a bunch of research to get a drink stall right off the bat. So, um, so there was definitely some issues there. I definitely had a lot of issues with um, trying to keep the park clean. There's one area of the park that's a problem area, and it's the exit line coming out of... Uh, I think it's claustrophobia or whatever one of the, one of those uh, racing coasters, one of those looping coasters. Um, it's there's a kind of a problem area. So definitely, if you're doing this scenario, definitely just have a handyman just walk up and down that that little pathway because you're gonna have to deal with some issues there. Um, so basically, to start off with, uh, I did you know obviously I like to do a little bit of scenery building. This one is kind of tough to get really into the scenery uh, just because it's so mountainous and there's not a lot of flat areas to build scenery with. Um, I tried my best. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to not do it. But, um, you know, in this one, I think there's going to be a lot less ability to make really nice looking scenery than in my other couple of episodes that I've done here. So, uh, like, like the last, I think the last one was uh, Leafy Lake. Uh, this is going to be kind of similar in terms of like I'm going to kind of stay off the water as much as I can. There's there's a little bit of land that you can kind of mess around with um, and try and just you know like it's it's not flat, but at the same time you can kind of go inside and out of the land and there's a lot of fun things you can can do with it. It's a nice little challenge. So uh, that's what I'm kind of did with this this episode here was like um, obviously after I kind of get through all the maintenance stuff and get through all the boring parts of the game, uh, frankly. Once once I get through all that, then there's kind of a fun part where I can uh, get into actually building some coasters and actually building some rides. And, um, you know, it's it's fun trying to come up with some solutions to to uh, to some problems in this one. There's, there's a lot of problem solving you got to do here. Um, so uh, another part of this scenario that's kind of tough is that... Um, the uh, ride selection is kind of, it's not bad but it's not amazing so there's got there's a lot of research that you have to do and i have a weird thing that i don't like to build too many of the same type of rides so if there's a coaster that's already built in the park i try not to build it again if i can so um all of the coasters that are available to me to you right off the bat are already built in this park and uh the log flume is available to you right off the bat but that's already built in the park as well so um, I did some research. I got a junior coaster was one of the few that was not. So I went ahead and built a junior coaster. Um, this is the first thing that I really built, built, you know, like a first ride that I was able to get to just after getting through some of the management stuff. Now we're into actually doing the fun part of the game, which is building rides and building scenery and all that stuff. Um, as obviously as I'm known to do, I just try to, I tried to stay with some building some scenery as I was building the food and drink stalls. Um, and one thing that it's good to do is kind of do some land editing. If you're trying to be like me and you're trying to design some, um, you know, design some areas of the park that are, you know, like uh, you're trying to keep it on the land and keep it off the water, just just for realism's sake, um, definitely land editing is going to be, you just got to kind of be careful with that and make sure you're, you know, not spending too much on editing land. Obviously, I'm not always the best at that, but uh, I think I did a pretty decent job. So... Uh, the three rides I've built, or two rides I've built so far, are a, I built a, um, junior coaster and a swinging ship. Both of those, uh, I had to do some kind of terrain editing just to kind of get them to fit in the park as best I could. 
Uh, and here I built this wooden roller coaster that, uh, like, it looks nice, but I, I think after I tested it, I think it was like a 1.7 excitement, so I was just like, that's not worth keeping at all, so, um, I went ahead and just scrapped that. And decided to move it over to there's sort of this stretch of land that goes kind of out into the water that I thought looked kind of cool so I wanted to build a coaster that sort of undulated with the land a little bit and um, and I think that this turned out a lot better than the original one that I had built um, and uh, this definitely took a few tries to get right but I think overall it looks pretty good um, and uh, the junior coaster and this roller coaster actually do not have names yet so if you have an idea for a name that you'd like to name the coaster go ahead and leave that in the comments down below i'm always looking for those um i've had some people come up with cool names in the past so let me know what you guys think um but that's gonna be pretty much it for this first episode i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you did make sure to leave a like and comment down below and subscribe for more roller coaster tycoon content Otherwise, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys very much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.